there's a history lesson about if you have the story and you have the legend, you print the legend. But Jim Capers is both the story and the legend in one. For those who may not know, Jim Capers is considered the spiritual founder of Marine Corps Special Operations. Jim was born in a sharecropper's cabin in South Carolina and was the youngest of eight children. Most of his brothers and sisters died in infancy. Jim joined the Corps in 1956 during a time when African Americans were not accepted with open arms. But Jim knew that bigotry crumbles in the face of professionalism and excellence. And so he worked harder than everyone else around him. He made himself the strongest, the toughest, the smartest, the most professional warrior those around him had ever seen. Thirteen pieces of shrapnel and one bullet hole, I probably would have died. He lost so much blood that, I mean, they gave him transfusions for days. He never considered his own life. His men were above his own life. He didn't ever consider his own life when he was out there. The fact that Jim Capers was given a silver star in lieu of the uh, Medal of Honor, it's disgusting, quite frankly. Certainly it takes away from uh, what he stands for, the best of the best. And the best of the best, particularly in combat, should be awarded your best decoration. It was amazing the things that these gentlemen went through and survived. And they said if he had not been there, they would not have survived. I believe it was pushed by the generals because if it hadn't have been pushed by the generals, he would never have been recognized. We wrote him out for what he did, and then we compared it to the order, and then that's when we came to the conclusion it was a Medal of Honor. The man's a hero.